Hi, writers. Welcome back to writing. Happy spring. Hopefully the weather is getting nicer out there. Um, what I'm going to need you to do today is if you are at home, I'm going to need you to find these things. These both came home in your packet in March. This is your springtime writing book. It's got a cover and it's got three pages. And I'm also going to need you to get your writing journal. These are the things you're going to need for um, writing over the next month or two. Uh, boys and girls, we are going to start a writing story today all about spring. Hold on. Let me close this curtain so you can see me better. There, hopefully that's better. Uh, we're going to start a spring story today. So what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about spring weather outside. Think about the sun shining and the grass is starting to grow and the flowers are starting to bloom. Think about things that you do in the spring. Do you and your family go for bike rides? Do you cut the grass? Maybe dad cuts the grass or mom cuts the grass. Do you, um, some, a lot of people do spring cleaning. Do you get your house ready for cleaning? Okay. What I want you to do is get either a plain piece of paper like I did or Use your writing journal. You could turn to page one in your writing journal because this is just an empty book, kind of for you to do like just a journal, kind of for you to sketch your writing and your ideas. And I want you to brainstorm things that you do in the spring. So I want everybody to see if they can think of seven things they do in the spring. I said, boys and girls, planting flowers, cleaning the yard, Bonfires in the backyard. We have a fire pit, so we like to do bonfires. Going on walks in the spring when the weather gets nicer and the sun is shining. Bike riding. The ice cream shops open up, so my family likes to go to ice cream. Baseball games. Ace and Anna will start their baseball games. They have rollerblades. They like to go rollerblading outside. I like to clean the garage and get all the winter snow and dirt and yuck out of it. And I like to clean the yard. I like to get all the twigs picked up and uh, the grass cut and the flowers planted so I make sure that my yard looks good. So the first thing I want you to do today is I want you to brainstorm things you might do in the spring. And you can do this if mom or dad are home or grandma or grandpa or brother or sister, you can do it with them. If you're in class, we'll talk about it and we'll make a list in class of things we like to do in the spring. Once you have your list, I want you to get out your springtime book. Here's yours, yours is not done yet, okay? And you're gonna do the cover today. So you're gonna do your spring brainstorming list and then you're gonna work on your cover sheet today. Before you start coloring your cover, if you look really closely at mine, I did Mrs. Peterlin my name, and then I picked the three things that I want to write about. I picked bike riding, so I'm going to write a whole chapter all about bike riding in the spring. I picked planting flowers, because I'm going to write a whole chapter, a whole page, all about planting flowers. And I picked cleaning the garage, because I'm going to write a whole chapter all about cleaning the garage. Okay? And then you're going to cover it the best you can. Boys and girls, you can see I use lots of colors. I did my best writing. This is the cover to my book. And I want everybody to know that I gave my best effort, okay? So writers, the things you're going to do today, you're going to come up with a list of things you do in the spring, seven or so, seven ideas. Then you're going to go down and pick the three that you want to do. You're going to write them in your rainbow. And then you're going to color your cover sheet. The next time we get together, boys and girls, we will write chapter one of our story. Okay, writers, when you're done, Send a picture to your teacher on Seesaw. Great, thanks.